Cousin. I'm Xander. They call me Xander Mander. Uh, a little bit about me. You probably know what drag queens are. I'm not a drag queen. They call me a club kid because I don't impersonate women. I'm just me. Um, I not only work in gay clubs, but I also work in straight clubs all over the country. I do a lot of benefits. Um, so I'm kind of here to talk to you about a different thing. Um, it's been a long, hard road. I have to say that I personally know more straight people with HIV than I do gay people. So I'm really tired of hearing this say this is a gay disease, because it's not. Um, my personal assistant is not with us today, has had HIV for 20 years, so I've seen the battle that he goes through. He's a dialysis patient um, with no kidneys. Because of his HIV status, he's not eligible for a transplant, which is kind of bogus in my way of thinking. Um, but I want to talk to you today about, you all know, use condom. Yay. There's other ways to prevent this. So my safety is uh, don't go out alone. Go with your friends. Take a friend with you, because if you've got a friend with you, you'll more likely to not end up in a one night stand when you go out, because you've got that person, that poor person that's saying, no, let's go home. Let's go home. You've had enough. You don't need to go home with this person. Um, and it's a good thing. I want to give you two examples of experiences that I've had. I've been doing this for 30 years. The reason I do this is because it gets everybody, straight and gay, to look at me and go, what is this guy about? Let me go into this club and find out what this guy is doing, and I get to draw them in for whatever benefit I'm doing or whatnot. Two experiences that I've had. In a gay bar, um, I personally am allergic to narcotics, so can't smoke pot, can't do coke, can't do any of that. Somebody shot something in my drink. Ten minutes later, I was on the floor puking up blood. Fortunately, I had a friend with me that day who was able to get me to the hospital at that time. That's the safety issue I'm talking about, is to have a friend with you at all times when you go out to these clubs. Um, second experience I had was in a straight bar. Um, I was not dressed like this. I had just gotten home from my, well, my job at that time, dressed in a suit, stopped at a straight bar. Again, I was drunk. Uh, these guys ended up taking me back to a hotel, keeping me tied down, beating me with baseball bats for six days. Robbed my entire apartment, took everything that I owned, identity, everything. Left me for dead in a dumpster six days later. Fortunately, somebody found me and got me to a hospital. So this doesn't just happen in gay clubs, it happens in straight clubs as well. Um, I see it, and these, this wasn't in Chicago. This was in a small town, not as small as Jamesville. <laughs> I have not seen so much land in so long. I live in, the I, I live in the concrete jungle. I didn't even know there was that much land. But the point is, you've got to be safe. You've got to think. There are you know, four different ways of getting this, the four different fluids and that. But the safety of it is the part that I like to, to focus on. Because you hear Use condoms. Use condoms. Yeah, use a condom if you're going to have sex, especially with somebody that you don't know. Um, but don't put yourself in that place in the first place. You know, don't get into that situation to begin with. That's why I keep saying, go out with your friends, a friend who is going to protect you and that you can protect also, because it is so easy to walk into a club. Uh, he's hot. Let me buy you a drink. Three hours later, you're both drunk, you end up going home. And if you do drugs, you're going to end up doing drugs with a complete stranger, and you don't know who these people are. So safety. I forgot what else I was going to go over with you. Oh. I'm sorry? What? Signature pieces. Oh, yeah, the signature pieces. On my costumes, I have signature pieces. You always find a butterfly on me. I'm known for my top hats. I make all my own costumes, and these are some of my signature pieces. That and my flat shoes. Um, have your signature pieces when you go out. Some of you girls have a favorite purse. Yay, pop a condom in. Make that condom your signature piece. 
your other signature pieces, you need to have a friend on your arm. Wear your pretty clothes, get dolled up, go out to the clubs, have a good time, get home safe. That's the last thing I ever say when I go out and perform, do lectures or whatnot is have fun <coughs> or get home safe. That's the number one rule. Um, and those need to be your signature pieces. I keep them on me, not for myself because I'm a virgin. <laughs> Got land out there to sell you too. <laughs> um, you've know, you got enough of that here already. <laughs> but those should be your two signature pieces. Your uh, prevention, and your prevention of that is to keep condom on you if you're going to have sex, and to keep a friend with you at all times. Never go out alone. Like I said, these things didn't happen to me in the big cities. You know, I'm in New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, Florida. These were in small towns, small suburbs, that these two incidences happened to me. And you, you just never know who's going to be in there. Um, and then you forget what else is going to go on. Celebrities. Oh, those. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was talking to Ben last night. I'm like, yeah, I help you remember my points. Um, raise your hand or clap if you know any of these names. Anthony Perkins, he had played Norman Bates in Psycho. Um, the Brady Bunch, Robert Reed, Mr. Brady. Look at the young ones, they're all like, the hell is he talking about? <laughs> Freddie Mercury of Queen. Yeah, hey, we got one, okay. Uh, for the older generation, Liberace. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All these people died due to complications of AIDS. And are they different than you or me? No, the only difference was is they were famous. But even with all the money and the power that they had, they still could prevent getting HIV and eventually dying from it. So had they, I mean, a lot of these, them died way back when this first started. But um, the point of that is these are famous, famous people. Freddie Mercury is one of the richest rock stars there is. He couldn't prevent catching this disease and eventually dying from it. So, no difference between them, you or me. The last thing, and I remember this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to being up this early. I'm <laughs> right now. I, I had to get up at 8 o'clock this morning and start getting painted. I'm usually getting home at that time. Um, what you can do is when you see a benefit for AIDS, go to it. Make sure it's a legitimate benefit. Um, if it's going to be in a gay club, I guarantee you're going to at least get a good show out of it. And most of the performers that I know will donate their tips that you tip them to the cause. Um, there's a lot of great organizations. And you can go to Bob's site and you can find these organizations. Uh, you can find me on Facebook under Xander Mander. Not my full name, Xander Mander, Queen Commander, just Xander Mander. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll see my shows by benefits there. Um, you'll see other shows by a lot of the performers that I work with. Some of them are transgendered, some of them are straight, gay, lesbian. Support it. That money goes to it, and that money helps to research, to help the people that have it, to get that medicine out there to them. I mean, I watch my assistant, you know, I can't even tell you how many pills he has to take a day. And he has to take them every day just to keep going. He's had it for 20 years now. He's a good guy. I pay my ass sometimes. But. Um, so you don't have to be uh, rich to survive, because you can't. Prevent yourself when you go out, bringing your condoms, taking care of you know, having friends with you. Just be safe. Because you, know, you, you have no idea who that person is sitting next to you. I mean, I look at you. You're a cute, young, attractive boy. I come over and say, want to buy me a drink? And you go, sure, Xander, man. Is there anything you can do? <laughs> they all say that. Um, look, I'm bolting here. <laughs> but I don't know. You could be that guy who is going to squirt something in my drink, take me back to a hotel, rape my ass, and infect me with something. Because there are those kind of people that are out there. I've dealt with them. I survived them, unfortunately. Um, so just be careful out there. That's all I can say. 
And when you see a show or a benefit, go to it. Make sure it's legitimate, because, you know, there's scammers out there. We all know that it's for everything. But find them. Like I said, through his site, on Facebook with me, and be safe. That's all.